as always welcome back to the channel this is Austin code cipher back again with another video on web development so we are still continuing with our jquery ui tutorials now in this tutorial i'm going to be creating a dialog pop-up box and when you talk about that you no know, this button has been designed using bootstrap with those bootstrap graphicon icons and when a user clicks this button we shall display such dialog box so with the title of Austin code cipher i can carry it move it on the web page or website there is a paragraph of Austin code cipher a computer science graduate from ymca uni university with this big image containing a man with beards that guy is called Austin code cipher so when i want to close this i just place that x or ampersand times symbol in html entities that's how it's called now yeah that's what we're going to be creating in this tutorial if you are into this kind of tutorial please stick around and see how it's done and before we start off this project make sure you're having either the theme downloaded from this site the jquerui.com forward slash theme roller you get any desired theme download it and use it or if not and you don't want to download themes on your pc include this online cdn the content delivery network in the content delivery network will give you the cdn so these are the ones you can include them in your head section and everything will be smooth like butter so that's what we're going to be creating what you have to do is refresh this page and everything gets lost because we deleted the code behind the scenes and now if you have been watching the previous tutorials i explained to you these columns the reason why it was centered in the middle is because i made columns three this layout is of three columns this one this left left column middle column and right column so we are using the middle column and this is the one so to create that dialog box we shall create a div and we are going to give this div an id of dialog box dialog box dash box and we are going to give it a title the title is of Austin this is where the title goes in this div and we are going to say cipher so inside this div this is where you saw the other paragraph and this um, Austin code cipher a computer computer science graduate from YMCA uni so I'm Austin code cipher a computer scientist from YMCA uni <laughs> university so that's so far remember we had also an image image and this is the image tag we have in this source attribute so what the source attribute does it allocates where the image is found it gets the path where the image is found so oh so our source of the image are you seeing this folder this folder is called styling so that's the first folder we have to enter inside styling we are having another folder having this class this other folder called images so we say images then you say forward slash then you write the name of the file so the name of the file is jpeg so we have entered styling inside styling we entered images and inside images we entered and got this file called Austin code cipher 
and this is what we are having but the weird stuff is this image is not responsive so the reason why we are having bootstrap in this project it's going to make our images responsive we are going to add a class to it so it must correlate with the width of the container it's put in so main is inside this column of this column having these five columns this div having the five columns it's not column having five columns the div the parent div is having is covering five columns then i'm going to write image responsive image responsive and this the image is going to scale to the width of that column or container it's in as you can see now it's somehow behaving good now i'm going to give it a class of thumbnail you should get that white border lines has it got them no not yet why thumbnail oh b typo so it's called it's supposed to be thumbnail got spoil it right yeah and we are having those white borders around it so now let's create the button where the user will have to click and open up that thumbnail so it's going to be show show dialog show dialog and remember there was an icon and these are also made possible by bootstrap class it's going to be graphicon graphicon space graphicon and say dash comment so the icon you saw it was for a comment and if you are to reload this page you will see some weird looking button with this comment icon so to style that button we are going to give it a class of btn space btn dash info info and we shall get this nice looking button I guess that's it now let us start on our jquery ui functions and we want to hide this div first then to do that remember we are having our custom area where we write our jquery ui functions and for this case <coughs> we are going to be targeting the div parent div which is having this id of dialog box the id of dialog box i'm going to copy it i'm very lazy to write and I'm going to paste it there. So we are targeting this dialog box. And we say dialog dot dialog. So this is a method. We are going to open curly brackets in between that method. And we are going to say auto open. And we set it to false. So we don't want it to open this dialog box before us clicking the button. Let us refresh the page and see see that div will get lost it will do what he get lost <laughs> so now let's target let's target the button where the user is going to click so when the user clicks this that's what we are trying to target and we give this button oh not yet given it an id we are going to call it opener because it's the one going to open you can name it anything you want but me i'm going to call it opener because it's the one going to open our dialog box now i've given it an id of opener so here we say when the opener is placed dot click when the opener is clicked we are going to pass this anonymous function and open the curly brackets don't forget the semicolons are you in class <laughs> so when the user places the button which is having this id of opener this click function will fire off and we say when it's clicked we want it to fire off or open this div which is having this id of dialog box so we say when the opener is clicked please go ahead and search for this dialog box and display it on our screens we shall set dialog 
uliotia ya somebody is greeting me here <laughs> so we are going to pass a message which is open and put a semicolon here i guess that's it let's reload our page and when we click this we must see a pop-up box so this is the dialog box we have created using the jquery ui thanks for watching guys if it was so useful to you go ahead subscribe like the video share it on different social medias and i'll see you in the next tutorials this is what we have created and this is the jquery ui functions you have been writing to open this dialog box the reason why we are using this auto we have set this auto open to false because we don't want it to open before us clicking the button see when we put it to true when we set it to true the moment we load the page like this it will automatically pop up before us clicking this show dialog box i guess now that's the reason why we set it to false false so subscribe and stay tuned